Oh, sure. Let's see the news. Oh, okay. Shark tank in India. Saudi Arab ka Afghanistan ko ek Arab real dena. Okay. Asman me sao karod. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were there. I was just reading news and I was wondering, is newspaper reading really effective? What do you think? So, I recently read this book. The name of the book is Stop Reading the News by Rolf Dobelli. And in this particular video, I'm going to talk about five reasons. And he, is, he was a news junkie. And from being news junkie, he went against reading the news. The five reasons that I'm going to share is, are breaking news really breaking? Circle of competence. What is circle of competence? And how does reading news blurs our circle of competence? The third is, how does it make us more confirmation bias? And then is, are online reading really effective? And last but not the least, you get these, uh, you know, in shorts. I'm sure everybody knows about those in short news. How effective are those? So if you think the, this is a topic that interests you, please go ahead and watch the complete video. Thank you. So growing up, I observed that in my family, everybody used to read newspapers. And even I did read newspapers for brief. And every day, you know, in the evening, uh, there, there used to be news on TV channels. At school as well, uh, it was highly recommended that you should read news. I was part of the quiz team and reading news was mandatory for me because of obvious reasons that it creates a general awareness. Uh, so all my life, I have been told that it creates a general awareness. Rolf Dobelli, the author of this book, which is called Stop Reading the News, goes ahead and says that news, you should stop reading the news. If you want a calmer, happier and a wiser life. So I will go ahead and I'll talk about what are his five arguments. And then you can definitely take a call whether you think it is beneficial or not. The first one that he talks about is breaking news. You know, every time breaking news, breaking news. So the first thing that he says is, are breaking news really breaking? Or what is the logic? Why is everything a breaking news? And then he speaks about somebody from Texas. He has made a record of eating five kilo worms or China has created a new aircraft carrier. How is that breaking for me? It is not breaking. So making everything a breaking news does not make it a breaking news. So this was the first one. The second point that he raises is circle of competence. Now let's understand what is circle of competence. Now right from Warren Buffett uh, to Ian Watson uh, from IBM, they talk about if you really want to excel in your life, you need to understand what is your circle of competence. Now circle of competence is something that you excel in. For instance, I would not say that I excel in, but for me as a person, I like public speaking and I am into training. So that's my circle of competence or a place where I would like to excel. But when it comes to news, a typical problem is it creates a very obscure picture. It gives everything at a gradual level, which does not improve your area of competence. Let me give you an example. For instance, if there is a bridge that has collapsed, and if there is a car, and definitely there was a driver in the car, they have met with an injury. Now, this news will focus more towards the car and the driver. But they should ideally be talking more about why did this happen? And what are the steps that's being taken to ensure that this doesn't happen in future? Now, you can understand it definitely does not add to your circle of competence. So if it does not add to my circle of competence or if it does not increases with my knowledge, do I really need to consume the news? The third part that is something which is very true is something which is called confirmation bias. Now, 
one of the most stupidest of all things is having an ideology propaganda fake news hindsight bias you know this has been promoted by news and with the help of artificial intelligence you know with the kind of news that you consume they will only go ahead and share the same kind of news making you a super bias somebody who ha- who becomes ends up becoming a shallow thinker for instance let me go ahead and give you an example of the financial crisis that happened in the year 2007 2008 now that financial crisis happened and uh most probably the news spoke about so many things and if the news were really informative it would have been in a position to stop that but we don't know we are in another financial crisis altogether now covid 1 covid 2 now covid 3 whatever it is if news were really informative we would have been in a position to stop it that's not happening so is it really helping us or is it only building up to something which is called confirmation bias okay uh the next point that he raises is something which is important is something which is called news snippets i really like this point the news snippets is uh this in shots in shots kind of a news can you get an understanding of something in a 2 minutes read or in say 100 or 200 words can you i can't if you really want to understand something you need to understand a lot about its background why what where when how if you really want to know about something this is something which is called superficial learning so news promotes superficial learning and it will always try to trigger your emotional side and why is it triggering your emotional side obviously because now the news are getting paid by the advertisements and they really want your eyeballs they want you to watch because that's how they make money and he also goes ahead and says that the word free is a very tricky word because if you are not paying for the product it's scary because you are the product and last but not the least is something which is called online reading now previously news was a harmless entertainment but with advertisement coming up it has become a weapon of mass destruction and one thing that it is targeting is definitely your mental health when everything is free and when everything is readily available it becomes very difficult not to watch news so when we talk about online news uh, is something that you have to be really careful of and especially when it comes to notification the suggestion that has been given by rolf dobelli who himself was a news junkie uh, is rather than always sucking into news how about once again choosing a different pond to fish how about going to a bookstore or downloading a book on any subject that interests you and going ahead and learning everything um, when i was talking to my brother you know he one of the points or questions that he raised was how would you know if there is something that is important that is happening would you not be isolated if you do not read the news i do not read the news i don't feel isolated because as for rolf dobelli he says that if something is important people will come to know people will come to know and they will let you know as well uh, for instance uh, you know this recent uh, uh, since couple of days as the gyms are closed now this news was shared to me by my friend so this was something important i came to know about it so that's the take on it i'm very curious sir uh, as to how you feel this particular book is especially if you are a news junkie you should go ahead and give it a read and then you should take a call whether it's worth or not okay and uh, i this is my week 3 of my book review i will be very happy if you go and go ahead and check out my other two books as well which i have presented a book review and last but not the least you know right what youtubers say what do they say like share and subscribe okay thank you